Hey, plant lovers! Ever had a plant turn your peaceful home into a nightmare? Today, I'm about to dish the dirt on my most horrifying plant story. Welcome to Oasis in a Pot, where we dive into the world of indoor gardening. In August 2019, I got a jasmine plant from a local market. It's a beautiful plant with lush leaves. I put it in a corner next to the window. A few days later, I spotted several white bugs on the leaves. After some online research, I found out they were mini bugs. The next few days were tough. Every day, I use a Q-tip and isopropyl alcohol to get rid of these bugs. But every morning, they were back on the leaves and around the container. It's like they just pop up during the night. So, I tried cutting the infested branches, but it didn't help. As the plant got thinner, the bugs just moved to the remaining branches. I really liked the jasmine plant and wanted to save it. Out of desperation, I bought 1,000 ladybugs. But these ladybugs didn't like my place. They didn't eat the mini bugs or anything. Instead, they roamed all over my apartment. They even crawled on my face while I was sleeping. Finally, I gave up on saving the plant and tossed it out. But the horror didn't stop there. One day, I saw mini bugs on the English ivy, which I'd cared for five years. I had to get rid of it too. Before saying goodbye, I took a few cuttings, hoping to regrow it one day. I washed the cuttings under water, thinking they'd be bug free. How wrong I was. Days later, I found a mini bug on one leaf. Eventually, only one cutting survived. It's been over four years since this nightmare. The long surviving English ivy cutting is now thriving again. And my plant collection has grown from a few to over 40. As my plant collection grew, I dealt with other bugs like fungus gnats, spider mites, and aphids. Mini bugs, though, are the trickiest. Once they settle in, they keep coming back until they ruin all your plants. It's even tougher indoors. No natural predators, no rain to wash off bugs, and no freezing temperatures to kill them. Finally, as your plant collection expands, you have less space for each plant, making infestations faster to spread. And cleaning up each infestation needs more effort. If one plant has bugs, it will likely spread to your whole collection. The best way to avoid these nightmares? Quarantine your new plants and make sure they are bug-free before introduce them to your existing plants. That wraps up this episode. Have any plant horror stories of your own? Share them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.